All right, welcome back. So yeah, all done, all completed, all built. So uh, yeah, let's have a look. So we've uh, yeah we've got our fishing guys along the canal. So they've come out really well, and uh, yeah, I think there's one over there as well. So yeah, we've got some food coming in. We've got our uh, blacksmiths over here. These blacksmiths, yep. <laughs> Just making sure I know what they are. And uh, I've got all them pumping out steel tools because we've got the uh, log iron and coal locally. So uh, yeah, steel tools and the uh, yeah the hedges and the I think it'll come out really nicely. Adds a little bit of colour to this area. Um, Silkworm huts are in. So this area we couldn't really sort out, could we? Because the stockpiles are in the way. But I've put uh, four silkworm huts on each side. Thrown in a little wood cutter, and um, I've also put a couple of barns on each side of this uh, trading post here. And uh, I've thrown in some firewood, some building supplies, and some silk because that's obviously what we're uh, sort of producing in this section. And. Yep, got the tailors over here, this side. So yeah, the country houses are a nice level uh, in terms of its height with uh, the upgraded smithy and the uh, the tailors. I do like these buildings, they're really nice. Um, which is a shame there aren't more models like this. I mean, uh, the new medieval town mods, I suppose, um, quite good, but to have this sort of double height Tudor style effect looks really good. And uh, yeah, so we've got a cloth fender over here which is pretty much bringing in everything <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be like uh, wool and fur and coats and things but no they've, uh, they're storing loads of stuff in here so I don't know what the crack is with that but um, on the other side we've got our hardware store and that's just bringing iron log and stone so quite handy not bringing coal though which is unfortunate but uh, hey ho and uh, yeah we've got our barber shop and our Dentist, love the little awnings on the uh, on the models. Really good looking. Yeah, nice. And uh, snuck around the back is the uh, is the bathhouse. And again, very nice model indeed. Um, yeah, weavers got one on silk, one on cloth, and the tailors. I've told to uh, to make full coats, which are made out of cloth as well. So it takes the pressure off the leather production. And uh, yeah, and then we've got our resource depots. So we need to start filling these up, really. Um, so I'm thinking we'll do it gradually because it can take a while to do. Um, we'll start on this side, and we'll. Uh, I don't know how much each of them holds, so it's going to be a bit of a learning curve for myself as well. Let's um, let's try and fill it up with stone. This one because it's always a, a resource that can run out on you. So. Let's put a thousand stone in there and see how much of a percentage it fills the uh, the depot by. Um, let's uh, start to work, and uh, I think we'll give two guys in there. Yeah, um, we'll do the same with iron, I think. So I'll we'll put a thousand in there. Open it up. Give it two guys, and uh, yeah, well, we may as well stick with the theme and put some coal in this one. So at least we've got a, a slight reserve in case we run low on any of these items. Keep the steel tools banging out. Um, yeah, work two people. So we'll get those filling up. Um, this side we're probably going to do food, but I think we'll we'll come back to that um, and get that topped up over this side so yeah really nice uh, little village sort of port side village here I keep calling it a port we've got about 10 ports haven't we <laughs> but uh, yeah I threw a bridge over here as well and I actually underlaid the um, the canal towpath with stone road and uh, yeah I carried it on just to give it a link to this little community up here so it's got fast access um, but other than that, yeah, it's uh, all done and complete this section now, so we need to uh, start building elsewhere. Um, 
before I do though, I notice that we uh, over here in the sort of barracks area, um, I removed some wall for the horse pasture and never put it back. So while we're in the area, let's just uh, do that. So let's bring up our, our stone walls and the gate. Yeah, let's just throw it there and then fill the rest in with single pieces. Okay. So that's in. So yeah, I've been a bit busy and uh, while that's been building, I've been getting our guys to to uh, clear a, a lot of jungle uh, just to the right hand side of uh, the original village. So uh, this is just so that we don't have to wait for trees to get cleared and I can just start putting foundations in and uh, see if we can get them built. And I'll try and get it done in this episode as well. So yeah, on that note, um, let's get going. So yeah, we had the graveyard here, didn't we, and a fishing pond, and I got rid of the fishing pond and extended it. And I'm thinking really we should um, complete the sort of buildings around the uh, the market. So uh, the buildings we don't have down here at the moment are the tailor and the blacksmith. So you can never have too many of those. So we've got the hospital, the school, boarding house, market, storage barns, housing, church, two churches in fact, and little fishermen. So. Um, yeah, let's put a tailor and, and well, I was going to say that we've got a fire. Let's just check this out, see what's burning down. Okay, well, yeah, we're just going to let it burn because uh, I'm running it on times one. It uh, messes up the music and uh, it sort of stops things from um, progressing in any way when we've got it on pause. So I'm just going to leave, uh, leave it on times one. And uh, yeah, what were we doing? We were doing tailors and blacksmiths in this gap here so the gap's quite big really so um, we're gonna have a little bit of space around the back but we could always use that for stockpiles because uh, the only stockpiles we've got are on this side of the village so we can always put some up here as well but let's get the uh, the tailors in um, yep now I was going I was thinking of blowing these up to uh, double height but I think they'll probably fit in better as a single height building, so let's uh, yeah, let's throw these in. Now, where do we want them to go? Let's put one there, and let's put the blacksmith. Let's bring that in one as well. Spin it round. Yeah. Um, what should I? Gap does that leave us one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, I think we can live with that. Let's throw this one in. Uh, oh, do we? Should we bring this in one? Yeah, let's bring that in one, and then let's get the uh, the tailor in on one as well, just so it sort of squishes things a bit closer together near the market. Yeah, there. We've got a gap of three there as well, which is always nice. So. We could possibly put some walls around and sort of segregate them that way. Um, and we need to replace the graveyard as well. So I was thinking maybe have a couple uh, running down here in this section. So let's remove uh, that uh, flat terrain and let's bring up if I can find it. Yeah, the cemeteries. So we're gonna have a walled one, I think. And, uh, yeah, if we bring this down here, how big is that? 21, we can't be that large. So, let's take it from this corner here. We've got a, a double wide road here, so we'll have this double wide road continuing across. Let's pull this up to as, uh, as far as it would go, 7 by 20. And uh, yeah, let's leave a double wide road gap, pull this down, do the same here, 7 by 20. Put that there. Okay, um, let's tart it up a little bit with a bit of road. Okay, sort of cooking with gas now, getting things in. And yeah, we'll fiddle about with decoration for these two shortly. Now, we did start putting in um, 
housed along the front here, didn't we? And I cocked it up and <laughs> got rid of them all. We never put them back in. And I think that was, God, I don't even want to know how many episodes ago that was. So let's put them back in. Um, and try and do it right this time. So we want to leave a gap between them. We'll have them alternating colours as well as they go along. Yep. Okay. A little bit of space has been cleared here by our minions, and I'm thinking the um, a row of country houses along the back. Let's start from this aspect, this corner up here. Um, yeah, the country houses look very similar to these houses. They just haven't got stilts, so I'm um, just going to continue the theme on. So uh, yeah, let's throw a few of these in, and again, I'm just going to allow these to um, rotate in terms of uh, the colour scheme, and uh, just leaving a space in between as well. Okay, um, now, yeah, I've noticed our logs are going down and we've got loads of firewood, so I'm going to pull out some firewood, uh, some fire, well, blah, 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 woodcutters, I should say. So, uh, before I do that, though, I know I've got one of these guys. I'm just going to bring that down to one, because they're sort of creating lumber, and uh, there's another one over here. I'm just going to bring that down to one as well. And uh, yeah, let's reduce our woodcutters. Pull them down to five. See, I sort of wanted a guy left in there, but short of going around the whole map and turning them all off individually, it's, uh, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. So anyway, I might do that offline. Let's, um, let's continue the theme of houses. We've got a load of houses surrounding this... Uh, these fishing ponds and these paddocks here, these crop fields. So let's continue it in this section here. Let's get rid of the flattened terrain. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep going with some country houses. Okay. Again, just going to leave a gap. And we've got a bit of room at the back, so we might be able to give these guys a bit of a garden as well. Maybe wall it off. Okay, nice fit there. So, uh, yeah, we've got this large area, and obviously the plan was always uh, to get some farming on the go. So we want to create a little farming community, but we want to maximise the space for food. Um, because we put a load of houses down now, so we're going to need some more food production. So let's get rid of uh, the flattened terrain sections. Okay. And uh, yeah, I want to throw in a, two or three big pastures and then sort of fill in the gaps with a bit of housing and uh, maybe some creameries, that type of thing. So. We start over in this corner. Let's draw a road. Now, I want to change the colour scheme. I, it's nice, it's green. It's my favourite of the three textures for the grass uh, roads. But uh, we just want something different. Now, the first texture is basically the same as sort of the base of um, well, this I think it's the same as the base of the uh, pastures and. Uh, it's going to look too samey because we're going to have large pastures. So we're going to go for number three, I think. And bum, 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 bum. Let's let's take number two, which is the same colour scheme as what we've got already, and just run this all away and give this a double. Okay. And then what else? What else? We want to put our pasture in, and we want one as large as possible. But I think we're going to put our own fencing around it. So. We we're going to want it to come in one and down one. In fact, actually, if we 
choose the third colour. Let's run this all the way down here for a bit. That'll help things, we'll just line things up a little bit better. So yeah, fenceless pasture and uh, down one and across one and that'll leave us an opportunity to uh, put our own fence in. And we're just going to pull this down and try and fit in a 30 by 30 I think is as large as you can go. Um, yeah, uh, well, douche. Okay, so that's in. And uh, if we go back to our number three grass road, we're going to leave a line for the fence, come down, and we're going to give it a three wide, just so we can put a bit of decoration in the centre uh, at a later date. goes up there doesn't it so we've got our space for our fencing okay so um, I just want to make sure I line this up correctly if we get our fenceless pasture again if we want to do on the same on this section we're gonna to need to um, you yeah, know leave a space there and then come down one, so is that going to leave enough room? No, we're going to come across one I think as well, don't we? Yeah. So, um, yeah, there. It's just because I want to make sure it goes in right. Uh, but we're not going to have to wait for them to clear anything because I've already done that in preparation, so... Yeah, that's going to be in the right position, I believe. So we'll throw that in. We can uh, pull this down a bit. Oh. Let's run the road across a bit more. Let's run this down and let's just spin the camera around so we can get a, a road going all the way around the back as well. We'll take that all the way along. Yeah, let's run this all the way across here as well, where it joins this stone road here. So we'll have to keep an eye out on this area, because I want to tart this up a bit, maybe make it a little bit um, a little bit greener, maybe put our own individual trees in and just put a sort of grass space down, so it's sort of open plan but not too um, dense with trees. So I'm just going to keep marking this as we go along to make sure we sort of uh, curb the growth of uh, trees ourselves. So yeah, um, let's put another fenceless pasture in. Um, in fact, let's do a bit of road first, so I know what I'm doing. Let's pull that down. And yeah, let's do another 30 by 30. Douche. Okay, that's in. Looking good. So we're getting there. We're getting there. We're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of meat coming off the animals that we put in here. So yeah, good, good, good. Um, now let's continue with the road. We'll wait for the auto save to sort itself out. And uh, yeah, we'll draw on road coming down here as well. Okay, so we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, these two need to be joined, don't they? That one's been done. Let's join this up here. Okay. So, yeah, I'm thinking we've got three large pastures. I'm thinking we should have some housing and some uh, creameries and dairies and things in these two. With this section, I'm thinking we should just stick with pastures. But we're going to use fenced pastures here uh, to save on space. And I'm thinking 15 by 15. Which should hopefully give us a double wide road. 
in between them. Yeah. I'm going to try and have all the uh, little huts centred in the middle. Not for any other reason than uh, that's what I want to do. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, fill in this grassy textured road. Grassy texture number three, I like to refer to it as. Okay. So we're getting there. Um, in terms of the fencing, uh, because it's sort of a bit more low rent than the stone walls, I think we may put some stone walls behind these buildings and maybe behind these houses, but I think we want to stick with fences, I think, for the pastures. Um, I know there's been lots of things buzzing away. I think there was a, uh, a load of nomads that arrived as well, but we don't need them. Yeah. There, um, we've got 250 people. In fact, we could put this up to uh, 105, couldn't we? Get people doing stuff, even if it is only at times one. You'll get there, matey. You'll get there. So, yeah. Um, fences, fences, fences. Well, let's start with the corner pieces, because uh, we've got to go in. And uh, yeah, I just want an entrance, I think, on this main sort of arterial road going through this district. So we'll just put um, six sets of five uh, around the other sides. It definitely speeds things up when you've only got, uh, when you don't have to do them individually. When you've got these rows of five all ready to go. So it's quite handy. Two on each side. Let's get a three. And that'll leave us a bit of room for our gate, which is an odd number, so it's not going to fit perfectly dead central. But uh, yeah, let's uh, put it close to the middle and finish off. So I'm going to do that with um, these two pastures as well. Uh, but it's uh, time consuming, so we're going to fly past that because we're running out of, uh, of time for this episode so so yeah I want to uh, put some creameries in and there's three to choose from well we've got a dairy from the colonial charter mod um, where's that yeah so we've got this which I think I'm going to use um, this particular model it just cycles through um, so you put it down and it'll get milk in and it'll produce cheese butter things like that um, Whereas with uh, these mods here, uh, they don't cycle. They, or they, they give you a menu, basically, so you can choose what you want them to produce. Um, so you can have cheese, or this particular model, you can have yogurts as well. So, um, yeah, the only difference is on the edge of the model, it's sort of like red ketchup style design, where there's, um, let's see, five, six, seven, there's like eight, it takes eight spaces but it, the actual model is a bit longer, so you've just got to watch out for that. So if we throw a few down here, I'm sort of wanting the effect where we've got those those benches running along the side of the road. So let's, uh, let's throw a few of these in. And again, if you see, um, we'll be able to draw road in these two lines here, but obviously they're going to get covered. <laughs> within the model. So we're going to need at least three um, a three wide road here because I think two are going to get covered within the model and then we're going to need a third just for guys to to walk up and down on. So so yeah we've got the creameries there. We're going to use uh, the colonial charter style ones over here on this side I think. So let's um, let's throw them in and they're a, like a darker shade as well, so... Let's start on this corner. So we've got one extra bit of road there, we'll just colour that in. There. Now you don't need to worry about these models, but we're going to stick with it and, no, and do three again on this side, uh, 
just so things are looking neat. Okay, so we're sort of running out of time really. I think I'm just going to forge ahead, I think. So I want to I want to get this done and I want to show it you in this episode as well. So let's get some stuff put in. We're going to need some barns. So let's throw a few barns in. Well, a couple. Uh, yeah. And I'm thinking we're going to put cows in these fields and sheep. So maybe sheep in there and then cows in these. Um, just so we can get some wool and uh, help out with the coats. So with that in mind, we're going to need a tailor. So let's put a tailor in. I want it fairly central, really. Um, yeah, let's just check to make sure that's central. Eight on that side. Seven on that side. Hmm. Okay, let's get rid of that barn. Continue this up a little bit. And then we'll put that back in. Just a little sort of cheat so we can get the same distance each side here. Um, yeah, roads, 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 roads. Let's run one across the back. Now we're going to need. Um, yeah, I'm taking some farming stands. I was going to say we're going to need some sort of market, but um, yeah, they're probably going to fit the bill quite well, these actually. So let's, let's throw one there. Let's put a couple in, because they don't hold a huge amount, these, um, these farm stands. They don't have a massive capacity, so make a bit of room, I think. And then we'll go back to our road tool. We'll just uh, do a bit of colouring in. Now, actually, we've got um, yeah. Let's leave it like that. We've got what am I looking to say? Flower beds that we could possibly put in the gap between these two. So let's do that. A bit of decoration, um, and then we'll do the same over on this side. Let's just put the road in first of all. And then we'll uh, go back with the flower beds. In fact, the um, because this is a three three wide, we could possibly put something along the front here as well. Um, I might do that offline. Have a little tinker. I'm not sure what I want to put there as yet. And since we were doing a farming community, well, and we were looking for food, I think maybe we should add some more some more apiaries. Because um, you can never have too many. It provides food, but it also provides us with um, sort of the, the ingredients for cat making candles as well. So now look at that there. What is that there? That's going to get in our way. Why is that there? Okay, don't know what that was, but it's gone. Um, yeah, apiaries. Let's throw them in. Now I'm going to angle them this way, just so the, house, the houses of the apiaries are going to be sort of be in a row. And we can still run this road up the side as well, which is a bonus. Let's run that long. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to get some houses in, haven't we? And I'm thinking let's just stick with wooden houses. We've hardly used them, if ever, in this build. And uh, yeah, they are good. Uh, they are a good design. So I'm just wondering whether we should push these back. Let's, um, in fact, no. Let's uh, let's just do one long row along the back and I'll give it a double road in front of the houses. Just uber aware of the time, we're sort of running low. Um, 
yeah, well we've done that section. I think I'm just going to leave it there and we'll come back, we'll finish this section and uh, I'll get it built in the next episode and uh, flip it so you can see it as well. So uh, yeah, in a bit.